What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be going over the top 3 items in Fortnite Battle Royale that have to go in the vault. So over the time, the lifetime of Fortnite Battle Royale, there have been a lot of items and weapons added to the vault. Some of these are like the standard SMGs, so if you uh, didn't know a couple of months back or maybe even longer than that, there were uh, three SMGs, not two like there today. There was the standard SMG, there was the silence SMG and there was the tactical. The silence and tactical are still in the game uh, at this very day. But as well as that, there was the guide missile, uh, which was actually put into the vault quite recently and also traps like the wild dynamo, uh, which only the OG players will actually remember this because uh, it was uh, taken out a very long time ago. And I started playing Fortnite Battle Royale about the time of the Fortnite Mails update, or the Halloween update, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, now that that's the intro's out of the way, let's get right into the number 3 spot. So coming in at the number 3 spot, we have the legendary bush. Like literally, it's, it's legendary rarity. And you probably already know that, but just to emphasise the point, I'm actually saying it like this. But Epic Games are basically telling us that the bush is as good as a Golden Scar or RPG, which obviously makes a, a lot of sense. But many people do actually agree with like what I feel, uh, what I believe about the bush is it's not really useful. Um, you probably agree with it too as well, uh, just like most people do apart from probably the noobs. And maybe even just trolls, because that's really the only people who actually use it, noobs. Uh, just want to apply a bush, or just if people are trolling, that's that's okay. Uh, I guess it makes a bit of sense for that, but uh, that's just beyond the point. But uh, anyway, there's bushes located all around the map, so I don't really see the point in having a, a physical one that you could actually apply to yourself. And it also wastes, uh, like takes up a slot in your inventory, which you could have much better stuff than that. You could have like a chug jug, RPG, scars, shotguns, and a bush, really. But anyway, that is the number 3 spot, which is the bush. So, moving on to the number 2 spot, we have the most recent trap added to, the, added to Fortnite from the 4.3 update that just came uh, this past Tuesday. And this is the bouncer trap. So, if you never knew, which a lot of people might not have, because only the OG players, once again, will truly remember this. Because this was taken out of the game a long while back, but it was much, di it was much different than what it is now. Because back then, there was this thing, it was called a directional launch pad, and you actually got busy quite a far distance. Um, and, and it's not like a launch pad, in case you're thinking about that, where you like uh, get boosted up into the air and you just deploy your glider, it's nothing like that. But the, the new bouncer trap is just nothing like this, uh, like the old trap, because in the old one, uh, you get boosted forward a far distance, as I've already said, you can uh, get kills. But for this one, it's, it's just not good, it's really not. Because the only thing that the new bouncer trap is actually good for is just not taking fall damage. When like doing a sky base challenge or something like that, you've just got an easy way to escape and get down from there without it taking fall damage and dying. But as you may see in the gameplay, the new bouncer trap is hard, it hardly even boosts you forward uh, one block. It basically just boosts you up vertically and takes no fall damage, which really doesn't work that well when you're on site and so you can't really use it in many ways. But anyway, that is the bouncer trap in the number two position, and now let's get on to the number one spot. So coming in at the number one spot is the jetpack. So the community has had mixed opinions on this, it's even a lot now for a couple of weeks now. And as you can tell by the list, I believe that the jetpack should be in the vault and not brought out again. Unless it is in the, the Close Encounters LTM, which was hardly in the game for a day. Uh, so I don't really see them bringing it back for quite a while now. Because uh, it just wasn't working. But I'm sure you've been in a build battle against a jetpack before. Oh, sorry. I mean, a one-man build battle. Because the player with the jetpack can always levitate much faster than you. Uh, without doing any work at all. It's just... You just get an unfair advantage, and it's, it's just very unfair, as I just said. So, if you have a jetpack, and, you know, I don't know about you, but whenever I get killed by someone in a jetpack, using this tactic of just going up perfectly at uh, a quick rate while I'm trying to build as fast as I possibly can, I get very, very annoyed, and it's very frustrating when I get killed by someone uh, who actually uses it. Like, the thing is, though, I couldn't even get a gameplay actually trying to show you this, uh, but I'm guess you probably do already know what I'm talking about and what I mean. So another thing about the jetpack is uh, you're able to use it 
doing a sky base, doing the sky base challenge, which if you don't know, it's uh, you go to the top of the map as far as you go, building up there, and then you just try and survive above the, everyone else without getting shot down. But the thing about uh, the jetpack is, it basically, you know, it's not really a challenge. The sky base challenge isn't a challenge anymore because if you get shot down, it's not game over. It's not uh, challenge field. It's oh, let's just. Uh, break the fall by using the jetpack before I land and just go back up again. So it's really not a challenge and that's another reason why I do not believe it should be in the game and it should be in the vault. But anyway, that is it for the video. I'm telling you the top three that have been uh, that should be put in the vault. The top three items that should be put in the vault. And if you did enjoy this video then please leave a like, comment and subscribe for videos every day apart from Saturdays and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.